Hello and welcome to this new video about VMware Vrealize Operations Manager 6.0. Today we're going to take a closer look about the integration of Operations Manager and Vrealize Lock Insight 2.5, especially taking a closer look to, to the launching context. My name is Matthias Eisner, I'm Director for Cloud and Management in the Com Division Group. What I've prepared up front is I deployed the Lock Insight appliance. So the first steps are completed, like configuring the new administrative password and entering a license key. The first step we're going to configure is the vSphere integration. So we just hit, click the link, um, provide the name for the vCenter server. We provide um, username, it's administrator. And the password, test the connection. So what we can do is we can collect the vCenter server stuff plus we can automatically configure all the ESXi's host to send all the logs to log inside. That's basically what we would like to do. So I'm just testing the connection. Uh, we'll see if that one works. Uh, so there is a wrong username or password. Probably I just forgot to put corp front let's retype the password off we go so the configuration has completed successfully so we connect that lock inside and the vCenter together and all the ESXIs are sending locks to lock inside next step we need to configure the connection to vRealize operations in our case I'm just using the IP address that's the IP address the username is admin and the password test the connection so we are going to do two things we enable all the alerts to integrate with we realize operations the next step is we also enable launching contacts and that's what the whole video is about how to how to do these two products integrate and how to enable the whole launching context so we need to save that one as well <coughs> all right registration successful perfect so what we have not done is we enabled the link in the actions menu in the gear icon to move over to we realize operations um, to use the whole launching context stuff there is one more thing we need to do and we need to do it with uh, VROPS so we are switching over to the uh, VROPS admin page login so what I've done before is I downloaded the management pack for, for login site for vRealize operation that can be done using the solution exchange that solution exchange .com. so we just go to the admin web page go to the software update and we need to install a software update why is that so if we go to our operations manager and log into the operations manager we have the actions menu on top of the screen but the problem is or what we actually now going to prove is there is no launching context possibility. So in our environment, for example, hosts and clusters, if we expand the world object, we just sneak to, to a host, for example, and there is there's the actions menu. And the only thing we can do is open the host in the vSphere client, but that's basically not what we would like to do. So we're closing that one again because we don't need it anymore. So we install the management pack. I've downloaded it from the Solutions Exchange. Here we go, open the pack, upload. And after uploading everything, we are able to install the management pack, accept the terms of the license agreement. So the installation is really fast. Uh, it's a small management pack. It has the sizes below one meg. So it's a small download and a pretty fast installation. Um, it should take about a minute. 
it, it took me a couple of time to figure out that we need to actually install the management pack for login site to to the operations manager um, to basically get the launching context link in the actions menu so just one or two more steps to go that's it I'm not going to cut the installation here we go finish so that's it that's all you need to do to enable the whole launch and context stuff uh, we don't need them the admin UI anymore so we just open a new tab go back to our VROPS off you go so what you can do with the whole launching context so it's a brand new log inside installation so there are that many log files right now but you can go to your hosts for example so we select a host now you go to the actions menu here we go search for logs in vrealize login set and if you click that link there is a new tab and it's directly pointing to login site and what you can see is it adds a filter for the object we have pre-selected inside the operations manager so that's that's really awesome so now we have all the log files of that host so that is the host it's, it's esx-01a yes it is and on top of that because the filter only displays log entries which are for that specific object you can also search inside the logs you have the syntax the highlighting stuff uh, so there is a SCSI device IO uh, from VM VMHPA what so on so that is that is pretty cool that is one of the launching context integrations the other one is if we clear all the filters uh, we have tons of hosts here what you basically can do is so we cleared the filter before we need to reload the page here we go so that's a different host it's ESX 02B what you can do is click the gear icon and open the analysis for that object in operations manager so if you click that link it opens a new tab and goes to we realize operations manager so that's pretty pretty cool so you can just launch in context from one application to the other and that is done using a new unified inventory so that's that's really freaking awesome what you can do on top of that is you have the possibility so we don't need oh yeah we need that one you have the possibility to create new queries um, so that's a brand new log inside installation uh, probably we have some stuff now I'm just checking if we have already some interesting queries uh, so basically what you can do is you can create a new query here then go to the bell icon, create a new alert from that query, select the send to v realize operations manager, select the resource uh, or resources. So for example, we can use uh, the production cluster. Let's see that's where is it? That's the cluster compute resource. So you can send for specific resources, specific criticality uh, on any match to we realize the operations manager. And if you do that, you will have all the events if you turn on the notifications over here. Uh, so we have all the notifications. And then you will have all the event ticks I'll create a second video to showcase that because I need some data to be displayed and you have all the ticks on the batch score line which is awesome you have that for every single batch 
Okay, guys, so that's the integration of vRealize Operations Manager and vRealize Lock Insight using the launching context. Don't forget to install the management pack into the Operations Manager and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this new video about vRealize Operations Manager 6.0. If you like the video, follow us on our YouTube channel and of course on Twitter. Thanks. Bye.